Christine, welcome to Give Me Five. Hello. Hello, nice to see Hi. you. Hi, nice to see you too. All the way from Nottinghamshire. Now, Christine, you have been a busy mum of three. Now that your children are growing up and they're older, do you feel that you have a little bit more time for hobbies that you enjoy? Please tell us about what you enjoy doing and where you get your top tips from to help you. Okay. Um, yes, I do have more time for hobbies now. Good. Um, now, my children are in their late 20s and 30s, so um, it, it's good. I can have a bit more relaxation time. and um, Yeah, um, it's... it's uh, yeah, how do I start? <laughs> um, it's, a, it's nice when you get some time for you, isn't it? When you have been busy, do you think? Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm not working now, so there is more more time. Yeah. Um, so what are you your never hobbies? Stop, uh, my hobbies. I I like dressmaking. I like making clothes, and I like making curtains and things for the house, and you know cushions and bags. And um, last summer I made some masks for the local community, um, and uh, so a scrub set for a care home. So wow. I felt useful doing that. What a lovely gift to have. And as you say, be useful. Now, one of your hobbies, Christine, is planting seeds in the spring and the summer with your husband. And that is such a lovely, peaceful pursuit. Does it make you think about God's character? If so, how? Um, I think it's, yeah, I think his um, creation is so wonderful and it's miraculous how you know the, the plants um could just grow from a tiny seed yeah. um and i think it brings people together as well and it's brought me and my other husband together closer because we can plant things together and be in the fresh air and and look at the the wildlife all the birds you know we get different birds in the garden um sparrows and blue tits and um even pigeons and magpies and um yeah it's it's lovely you know being amongst the trees and we've got some apple trees and a plum tree yeah um a cherry tree and i make cherry jam sometimes so um yeah it's good <laughs> that sounds good to me cherry jam i have to admit yeah. i do like making jam myself you know in genesis 1 verse 31 it says that god saw everything that he made was very good so you're right in creation you can see God's love in creation you can see his creativity and you can also see his joyfulness to mankind in this as well now when you were working a few years back there was a particular verse that spoke to you and God was faithful to you how did the words of the Bible verse help you in a particular situation um God brought justice in in the situation um I was in a, a job or oh, some years back and uh, um it was quite difficult quite dreaded going into work because there was somebody that was um just being cruel and unkind um but then I have to realize that forgiveness is the key and yes. you know and God God will forgive us if we forgive others uh, and he brought brought me through, you know. Yeah. Um, now, was there a particular verse that helped you at that time? Um, yeah, there's um, Isaiah 42, 2 and 3. Okay. Um, he will not uh, shout out or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smouldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. So I think think he did, you know, that yes. it, it was in hand. Um, and um, um, another thing is, um, um, he doesn't, um, sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. This is really good because this yeah, will encourage, this will encourage other people, Christine, because sometimes in the workplace, sadly, people do find it difficult. So you've been through this and this will help somebody who's listening today yeah and 
you know when you're expecting backup and you didn't you don't get it so yes. um another bird spoke to me isaiah 55 too why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy yes listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the rich stuff there and yeah. my husband said to me don't don't stay if you're not happy you know and it was a lower paid job at the time yes um, and um, what i'd been used to um so i am happy at home but and, and my husband you know he works hard and he's a godsend so yeah <laughs> really that's, looks after me yeah that's really lovely and so you can see how God helped you through that difficult situation, which is really good. You also had a health issue and the Lord spoke to you through a scripture in Joshua 1 verse 9. Is that right? Yeah, um, a verse that spoke to me is, yeah, Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, do not de be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Um, in two, in um, 2019, I had a, a, an abs abscess yes. um, on my face here. Right. And it, it started off like a small pea, and then it got hard and quite big, and, and my face looked distorted. It was like really out here. Yes. Um, from it was around August September 2019 um I went to the doctors um I didn't think it was dental uh because my back tooth the wisdom tooth wasn't hurting but right. it, I could feel a lot a lot of pain here and then at night it was quite painful I could feel the pain snaking down my neck yes you it would. was really really bad and I, I in the end I ended up um quite a few different antibiotics um, for about eight weeks and I was sick of antibiotics look I was I ended up going to the dentist as well because the doctor said I think it might be dental yes so I went to the dentist um, and this was a different chap that I'd been used to because the other one had retired so and um, and uh, he he said uh, that wisdom tooth will have to come out I think it's your wisdom tooth and I, I really didn't didn't like the idea of the wisdom tooth coming out. Um, um, he, I really didn't think it was anything to do do with that, really. Right. Um, but I'd got an appointment to go to, to have it out on this particular time, this day, and uh, I decided to cancel it. And um, uh, I'd got a good friend that helped helped me, and uh, she said, "Why don't you try my dentist?" So. Um, we went and uh, at the, in the end, um, another dentist from a different town che checked me out. He said, I don't think there's anything wrong with your wisdom tooth at all. Um, I, I think you've got a cyst on, right. on the side of my face. Yes. Um, he put his finger in, in my mouth and f feeled around, felt yeah. around it. And he, he's, he says that I don't think there's anything wrong. I think you should go straight to the hospital. So the next day, my husband took me to a hospital. This was in another town. Um, and uh, it ended up being a sebaceous cyst. Ooh, yes. And I ha ended up having, I was quite poorly, quite unwell. You and I ended, I, I, it was quite serious. Um, he wanted to get me in straight away. So if I hadn't have gone there with my friend helping me, she's a Christian friend and my friends, at, other friends at church were praying for me. Right. Um, um, so I had a, a drain, a drain in, I had it drained out to be dressed sort of every day. That's right. Um, she says, you might get a little scar there. She was a lovely, she was a top consultant that did the procedure. Brilliant. Um, and there's no scar scar there, just a, yeah. a little bit of um, um, fat had been taken out. But I don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so the God's God's been real yeah. help, helped me through that. And uh, there is... Praise no the Lord for that distortion either no distortion, no distortion. and i'm yeah. sure you're pleased that you actually got a second opinion i got a second opinion and it, it all worked, worked out and yeah i think it was god's time and he put the right people in the right place and the right mm. doctors and nurses and the right friends and i could have sort of gone along with having my wisdom tooth out and i'd heard horror stories you, you know you could your jaw can go really bad and you could i don't know just 
really bad yeah I have to cut you and all that I thought oh yes, no yes. but I, I knew it wasn't that because it, I'd got no pain there yeah brilliant that's really good yeah so it's good uh, that you went by your it. instincts as well so yeah. that verse then be strong and courageous was an encouragement to you wasn't it Christine you know yeah. God had to tell Joshua three times be strong and courageous be strong and courageous be strong that's and courageous yeah. because he needed strength and courage and the lord i can see spoke to you because he gave you that strength and courage as well now yeah. christine i know that you're interested to learn that you learned to play guitar and what style do you like are you into classical music or what do you like to sing what songs do you like and how much practice do you do um well, I've just started getting back into it again. I've, I've got an acoustic guitar, um, but I'm still a, a baby, still, still practicing basics, um, chords and learning strumming and, you know, the different major notes. Um, we used to have somebody that used to come to the church show um, and have a little group together and we'd learn from each other, but that stopped after a while. Yes. Um, and then years back, I used to, sing in the the church choir you know the church yes brilliant um, the new music team yeah um i used to went, really enjoy that and i've always loved singing and and going to church i miss that anyway but <laughs> yeah i'm sure uh, i'm sure and i like to lis listen to my um apple music and, and all that but I, I am really looking forward to getting better at the guitar um That's yeah brilliant. so i love sort of the worship songs and um, yeah, a lot of variety, really. Yeah, that's good. So, you know, you can build on that skill, can't you now? And that's a good quality to have. So thank you so much, Christine, for this interview this, this afternoon. And, you know, that's a lovely gift uh, that God has given you with your lovely creativity of uh, doing your sewing and dressmaking and things. And you are a gift from God also. Oh, thank you. So, Christine, it's been such a joy to interview you today. And thank you. It's been really good. And I'm sure those listening will be encouraged by your interview as well. God bless you. Thank yeah. you for joining me for Give Me Five. God bless you, Christine. And take care. God bless you. Bye thank you, Jane. Thank you.